All right, team, so hopefully you guys are really warmed up. This workout is going to challenge you. And what I mean it's going to challenge you, it's gonna challenge us. All right, team, so we're gonna start the circuit with plank to down dog. So let's assume this high plank position. You should know these very well. You know how to do a high plank, you know how to do a down dog. Now let's put it together. So let's stay real strong here, driving towards from plank to down dog. And my areas of focus are very simple. I wanna keep my arms really, really straight. Therefore, as I push myself from the plank to the down dog, I'm pushing away with the heels of the palms and I'm trying to strengthen, straighten the arms as much as I can. Let's go team. Beautiful. Now, we're gonna go into a low push-up iso hold. So assume this high plank position, and as you're lowering yourself to the ground, remember, we're gonna squeeze the elbows in and hold for 30 seconds. Let's go. Continue to squeeze glutes together, elbows together. You got this. Retract those shoulders. Hold. We're almost there. Beautiful. Let's we'll stretch it out. All right. So, keeping that high plank position, we're gonna go into a plank with knee to wrist to elbow. I told you today, we're gonna be on our hands a lot. So, let's continue to assume this high plank position. And with the right knee, we're gonna drive it towards our wrist, back to the elbow. Wrist, elbow, wrist, elbow. There we go. As you go into the elbow, push away from the floor with the heels of the palm. And switch. Halfway there. Beautiful. My shoulders. All right, so we're gonna follow this with a dolphin press. There's two ways to get into a dolphin press. You should know this already. So either we're going to start on our forearms and we're going to drive our booties up to the sky and we press from here. On the second set, I'm gonna be really fancy and I'm gonna teach you and I'm gonna teach you how to go into the dolphin press with different position. Woo, let's get it. All right, team, so let's go into the plank to down dog, okay? Start in your high plank, push away from the floor. There we go. Be fluid here. See if you can transition from the plank to the down dog in a very fluid way with every single set. Stay right here. We're gonna drop into this low iso hold, squeezing the elbows together. If you need to drop the knees at any point, you can do that, all right? Squeeze, let's hold. Fight the urge. Put your knees down if you have to, bring them back up. There we go. There, you got this. Retract the shoulders. Hold for a few more seconds. Stay strong. There you go. All right, team. Let's go into the plank, knee to wrist to elbow, all right? So shake the arms. Today I told you it was gonna be intense. It is intense. All right, team. Let's go. And switch.
tonight is going to the dolphin. There you go. Push. Shake those arms. Take your time. Go drink your water. All right, team, so let's go into the third set. Make it fluid. You got this. Remember, as lactic acid starts to build up, remember, it gets tough and we're gonna have periods of recovery. Beautiful, let's go into this low push-up iso hold. Squeeze those elbows in. Stay strong. Drop the knees if you need to. Let's go, team. Ooh. Let's go into the wrist to elbow, wrist to elbow. All right. And switch. Shake your arms. Woo! Oh, baby. All right. Let's go into that dolphin press. I'm gonna be the fancy one. There we go. And press. Moly. Woo. Let's go. All right, team. So, on to the last set. Bring it. Let's go. Whew. Let's go into that down dog to push up. There we go. Now, you already know what's coming that low push up iso hold. Only 30 seconds. That's all. And 30 seconds. Let's go. Squeeze. Elbows in. Onto the blank to wrist to elbow. Let's go. Stay strong here. And switch. Onto the dolphin presses. Finish strong here. Oh my 
my God. Ugh. All right, team, so for the second circuit, we have a dynamic Lola Sauna lift, okay? So I'm gonna be using the yoga blocks here because this is going to be a little bit intense, but using the yoga blocks will make it a lot easier for you to lift and easier on your wrists. So we're gonna start sitting on our heels and then I'm going to start grabbing these yoga blocks maybe uh, five, six inches below the knees. And from here, we're gonna lift the knees towards the chest for eight, down. Lift, push away from the floor, bring those knees in. Beautiful. For the next one, we have a Lola Sana Iso Hold. So we're gonna bring the knees and compress our bodies as much as we can, holding for 10 seconds. Take a nice deep breath in, push away from the floor, hold. Beautiful. Bring them down. Now, we have a tall kneeling humeral cars. Okay, so this is our resting time. We're gonna start in this tall kneeling position. Thumbs up. We're gonna reach those arms ooh, away from our bodies. Let's get that shoulder mobility. Beautiful. Take it slow here. Continue to curl the hips under. You should feel tons of core. Beautiful. All right, so we have plank walkouts. We're gonna start in this form plank position that you should know very well. And in this position, we're gonna start walking our feet back as far as we can, maintaining good position on the core. All right? Beautiful. Back in. Only go as far as you can without losing good position on this plank. Beautiful. All right, team. We're gonna take it from the top with the dynamic Lola Sana lifts. And then when we're done with the repetitions, with the lifts, on that last repetition, we're just gonna hold it and really get compressed. All right, team. Let's get it. Three and two and one. Let's go. And hold. Beautiful. Let's go into that tall kneeling humeral cars. Okay. Recovery time. Beautiful. Let's go into those walkouts. Get into that good form plank position. Remember, we're only walking our feet back as far as we can without losing position. Continue to curl the hips under. You should be feeling tons of abs. You will also feel tons of quads. There we go. Ooh, shake your arms. We're going to go back into those lifts. All right. Shake your arms. 
There we go. Let's go. And hold. Beautiful. Whew. Let's go into that tall kneeling humeral car movement. Last but not least, let's go into our plank walkouts. Shoulders are on fire. <laughs> All right, team, stay strong here. Last one. Beautiful. Woo. On to the next set. You did that. Let's go. Woo. All right, team. So we have one more set. Okay. So if you need to rest enough longer than what we're resting, in order to be able to do every single movement of that circuit back to back with no rest in between and or proper form, please rest more, all right? Listen to your body. Let's stop talking and let's start moving, all right? Be strong here, this is it. Last set, let's go. Notice how you'll get more and more fluid with every set. Beautiful. Let's go into that tall kneeling humeral cars. Oh, how are your arms? Let's go. Keep those shoulders nice and mobile, preventing injury. Ooh. And the last movement of this circuit. Let's go. Stay strong here, okay? Leave the ego out the door here, okay? Only go as far back as you can without losing that good position. I'm constantly pressing away from the floor with the forms. Beautiful. Woo. You did that. We did that. Let's go. On to the next circuit. Get ready. Let's go. All right, team. So. We have a prone block swimmer, which is really, really fun, and a plank with knee to wrist to wrist to elbow, elbow. So we're gonna start with this movement. You already know what a prone swimmer is. We're just going to be making it a little bit more fun and increasing our mobility with the yoga block. So it's gonna look like this. Just like a prone swimmer, let's curl the hips under and turn the glutes on so that we're protecting the low back, right? And it's gonna look like this. You're going to extend the yoga block and go around and bring it back to neutral and then we're gonna switch it over and reverse that movement. There you go. Keep that yoga block really high. 
Beautiful. I want you to rest your head on the mat, beautiful. Bring the yoga block next to you because we have a plank with knee to wrist, to wrist, to elbow, elbow. We have six repetitions, all right? So we're gonna assume this high plank position and we're gonna bring the right knee towards the wrist, then opposite wrist, elbow, elbow. So you're gonna make a box here. Six boxes, okay? Last one. Beautiful and alternate. Beautiful. All right, team, so on to the second set. Let's bring the yoga blocks back. Rest our forehead and let's move it. why I'm not resting my forehead on the mat is because I don't want to ruin my makeup. So make sure that you rest your forehead on the mat. Roll up maybe your towel and just rest it there. And just focus on the mobility of the movement. I'm just trying to be cute here. All right, team. So back to the plank with knee to wrist to elbow, elbow, all right? Six repetitions. Let's go, team. Wrist, elbow, elbow. Halfway there. Take your time. And switch. Beautiful. All right, shake your arms. We're gonna go into those prone swimmers with the yoga blocks. Let's get it. Keep those arms nice and straight. is that this yoga blocks weigh a ton, okay? So this is going to look very different when you do it. These are probably four pound yoga blocks, five pounds, they're very heavy. All right, team, let's go into the plank with knee to wrist to elbow, elbow. Get on that high plank. team. So we have this last set. Getting the zone. This is the finish line. You got this onto the prone swimmers with the yoga box. All right. Let's make this the best one. Let's go.
beautiful. All your arms. Woo. All right, team. Last, last movement. You should be very proud of yourself. Let's go. Let's make it count. team. We'll see you next week. On to the next one. Very, very proud of you guys.